What's going on, everybody? Hope your week has started out well. Um, I had to take the day off. I wasn't feeling 100% today. And no, no, no COVID stuff. It was uh, my own dumb fault on some stuff. So a little beat up and banged up, but we're trucking on as normal here. So if my voice is a little scratchy, it's just that's the reason behind it. Nope, not strep throat or nothing like that. <laughs> but um, this here I found, which was really interesting, uh, somebody made a post about it. And this is like a dude that you want to put on your block list for sure. And let's just look at it here. The guy purchased something, has a 14 feedback. And he says, honestly, I was pumping the value of it as I own this card as well. And the person bidding against me would outbid me since they kept coming back. You should be able to offer to them for their highest bid and sell it to them. If not, let me know and I'll pay you for it. This guy literally just came out. It's not even about him buying the card at all. But he used the word pumping, which to me is shill bidding somebody else's card because you have the same exact card and you want to fetch more money. And you figure, well, I'll get outbidded. Somebody's bidding against me. You, you take that chance. I do not like this one bit because even if you would go out and buy it, you know, you're starting to set new comps up there. Now, it's a big difference if you go out there and you want to buy 10 of a single card because you want to invest your money into it. Yeah, it's going to mess up a little bit in pricing, and then it'll settle down eventually afterwards. But this here just had ill intent going across it completely. I mean, we talk about shill bidding a lot, and if you guys uh, haven't gone and seen any of the shill bidding videos where I go through and show you how you can um, catch shill bidding, and you can break it down pretty good off of it, uh, go ahead and uh, hit those up because... It's a good tool to have if you're bidding on stuff and you're like, man, this stuff started to get a little bit crazy. And then you start checking that auction, you start going to other auctions. You might not be able to check the identity, but when you start looking at the feedback that's in the parentheses, you're like, wait a minute, this dude's been doing a lot and he has like 70 some percent bids with this guy. You're going to be like, yeah, I need to stay away from this dude, block, don't want to see his stuff no more. And it happens a lot. You know, unless they make it private um, sales. But I thought I'd show this because this dude just outed himself completely. And this stuff's floating everywhere. I've seen it on um, uh, Twitter now, Instagram, and on Facebook posts. But again, I know a lot of people might not have social media. And I figured I'd show this because, I mean, how would you even send somebody a message like this? I mean... <laughs> To me, I'd have been like, you know, hey, you know, just pay for it and, you know, drive on with it. You come out with something like this in today's day and age of the media and so, or social media, you're going to get hit every which way there is about it. It's just insane. And like I said, this is the dude that just came right out there and did it. But I figure I'd talk about it real quick. Um, it's still going on today. People are out themselves. I mean, this kind of goes with some of the other stuff where you're like, I can't believe this dude just did this type thing. And, yep, it, he did. <laughs> he, he literally did. All right, guys, the video this week is going to be a little bit shorter. I'm actually working on a bigger one. Uh, it might be a little bit lengthy. And I'm trying to figure out how to really do it. And so just bear with me with some of the shorter videos this week. But the other one, it's a doozy. We're just going to say it deals with a random.org. And somebody did a randomizer, not verified. And they didn't even follow their own random list. <laughs> and then when people started complaining, they just came out with generic statements like, Oh, it don't matter. You're still getting something anyhow. Not the way it works. But, all right, guys. I'm working on that plus a few other things. So be on the lookout for more videos this week. And don't forget, Overtime, live on Friday night with me and um, Joey from CBC. If anybody else wants to join in, just always hit me on email. I'll bring you in. You can go ahead and make a free Zoom account, and you'll just be dr uh, drug into a Zoom meeting with us, and you'll, we'll all be live on YouTube together. All right, hit you all up later. Have a good one.